Hey guys, Craig here, and I want to give you a quick sneak peek into one of the lessons that's inside of Funding Freedom U. Now, Funding Freedom U is an online platform that's designed to take you from surviving to thriving with your money. We have online courses, monthly group calls, and then hot seat sessions with industry professionals where you can get your questions answered. Now, the lesson today is all about finding your why and letting that drive you as you make progress with your finances. So check it out. Hopefully you can take something away. And if you want to join us in Funding Freedom U, click the link in the description below and use the code GUEST when checking out to get the first month for only 7 bucks. And I want you to think about it this way. What if I told you, what if I came up to you and handed you a shovel and I took you under the middle of a field and I just pointed to a spot and I just said, start digging. And then I walked away, right? Well, you might start digging and for a while you would get tired of it. Maybe you quit. Uh, maybe you just dig and figure out this is pointless. What's the point? Walk away. But the point is you probably wouldn't be motivated to keep digging unless you had a really deeper reason why. Now think about it. What if I, when I handed you that st shovel, instead of just saying start digging, what if I told you dig six feet down and when you get down to six feet, you're going to hit a box and inside that box is $1 million, right? That changes the whole story, doesn't it? Instead of just digging for no reason whatsoever or for a reason we don't know about, we now know there's a target six feet down and what's the reward for us digging six feet? It's a million dollars. Odds are I'm willing to bet any of you, trust me, I would, I'd be digging for that full six feet. I wouldn't even stop for a drink of water. I'd just start digging until I hit that box. So it changes our reason, it changes our motivation, and it changes our mindset. Think about, or if I handed you that shovel, and if money is not a motivator for you, what if I handed you a shovel and I told you that you have a, a terminal illness or somebody you love has a terminal illness, and six feet down there's a box with the antidote, okay? Same thing. You now have a reason why it's going to save your life or save a loved one's life. So we have to have that deeper why before we can do anything, before you can start budgeting, before you can start paying off debt, before you can do any of this, you really have to have that why. And this is kind of the fun part of it before we even get started, because a lot of you are probably feeling stressed. I'm, <laughs> I was feeling stressed for a long time about money. It, it consumed my, my soul. I had this pit in my stomach every time I opened up our bank account. I was afraid it was going to be in the negatives. Uh, every just it, it, it hung over me for so long. So this activity is really going to be the opposite. I want you to put those negative feelings aside, and I want you to have some fun and dream. And I want you to create a vision board or a list. If you're married, I want you to do this with your spouse. And we're not listing things we want, like getting out of debt or having a budget or having more money in the bank. I want you to list things that you would do. If you had no payments, what would you do with that money? Do you want to vacation more? Do you want to shop more? What do you want to do? Come up with those things. Have some fun. Dream. Uh, get a bottle of wine and, and sit down with your spouse and, and just talk about what we, you know, that conversation you have a lot. The What would you do if you won the lottery? That's what this is. We're having some fun with it. What would we do if we were debt free? What would we do if we had just a whole lot more money to to work with if we were retired and no payments to anybody and we had this chunk we had a million dollars in the bank